everybody. I could not stand back. I'm going crazy. The way to get it out is to talk to you. If I can get one person, just one, to listen to me and to actually consider what I'm saying, then I've won. I've not won. I've successfully helped someone. That's winning to me, actually. So this is about how you can get 20 to 40% on your money, your retirement money. Like, oh, here we go. Another scam. No, it's true. I'm doing it. Okay. How do you do it? You move. <laughs> you move. So way back, you know, I, I was actually watching a show today. Some of you don't know, but there's a bank in America called Wells Fargo. They had a TV show, uh, the Wells Fargo stories. Fascinating. Actually, real stories when they had stagecoaches and they got ripped off and the politics involved and the scheming. And um, you look at Wells Fargo back then, and it's a completely different animal today than it was back in the 1800s. So is Congress. So is the Senate. So is our spending. You know, back in 1860, I believe it was David Crockett, who was a frontiersman, was part of, I believe, Congress or the Senate for two years. And someone had asked him to pay for the family of a military victim during the war. Even though he was um, uh, compassionate about the, the widower, he said we shouldn't be spending money on things like that. We, it's, not, it's better to serve the people and the masses than an individual person. But now we fast forward and now we're giving all these different countries a lot of money, which really doesn't benefit the American people. I'm going to give you some examples. I, if you haven't watched my 1.7 Omnibus Stupid Things About the Omnibus, please go watch that. It's really good. It took me a lot of work. Uh, this one, I got this idea. And the point of this vlog is how to save you, how to, how to comfortably move you into the last third of your life. Or if you're already retired and you're sick of America like me, just how to move forward and get 20% to 40% on your money. Uh, live very happy with all the frustrations with people who are super nice. It's a different quality of life. And I'm talking about the Philippines. Some people say, oh, Jax, you move over there. You're living like a king. It's actually true. You can live very well as an American if you go over there and you're smart with your money. And I have a dating site, the JaxCooper.com. If you haven't seen it, take a look at it. Um, it is, I'll be guiding people through, I already have customers, but I'll be guiding people through on what to do to find either a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. Um, it's for all genders. Um, there's lady boys, trans, male, female, uh, very nice people. I know so many nice people. I can't even tell you. So back to the Wells Fargo, what a difference. And to let you know, I used to work for the Bureau of Indian Affairs. And in the movie I watched today with the Wells Fargo stories, an actual investigator showed up from the BIA on this movie. And I was like, wow, interesting how different the roles changed. Because when I worked there for seven years, I can't even repeat to you what happened there. It was unbelievable the things I saw and I had to leave. It was unbelievable. And one year I got a huge monitor, huge monitor for no reason. Everybody did, actually. That was because you paid for it. Anyways, let's go into the fact that some points. And I'll go round back to what I was just talking about. You know, your senators are paid for their opinion uh, based on money. They don't care about what you're doing. They don't care about your money. And so you're frustrated. You're like, what can I do, Jax? I'm going to tell you at the end of this movie what you can do to take your money and do the right thing with it so that these people don't waste it as much, okay? I got an idea. At least I have an idea. A lot of people go, well, we just spent 1.7 trillion to save the government. No, we didn't. Most of that was waste. That was your money wasted. And if you don't know, 1.7 trillion is 1,700 billion. It's unbelievable amount of money they're wasting. So it's wrong that senators get paid for their opinion. That's why you'll say, They'll be like, oh, you, there's no global warming, or there is, right? Depends on how they're getting paid. Uh, the other thing is, we're now at a $30 trillion debt. We just added $6 trillion in the last two years, increasing our debt um, over the last year by $6 trillion. Now, normally, the cost of 
goods or services, right? The cost to keep everything afloat is a trillion. Okay, gotcha. But at 30 trillion, it's unbelievable. So the reason I made this vlog is because most people I talk to, when I talk about this, they go silent. This is what I get. They don't know what to do. I figured it out. I really, and I'm doing it. I'm not making it up. I'm not some scam to get your money. This is the truth. You know, the first part of your life, you're having fun. You're a kid. You're chewing gum. You're blowing bubbles. You're, you're, you're doing sports. You're doing whatever you're video gaming, whatever. Second part, you have kids. You get married, right? Some of you go through a battle when you get divorced and you come out like you just came, crawled out of the trenches. You got nothing. You're like, the last 30 of your life's a mess. And then you try to date. <laughs> Dating in America, I will not give that any kind of star. I'll give it a one star because it works on, on the internet. I don't know if you guys know, but if you try to date now, one of these sites, the most common one, I was like, where's all the girls at, right? I've clicked over here. They're all sitting there chatting while the bears are going by and stars are going, oh, thanks, Bron. Thanks, George. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Susie. They have like literally a hundred people out of the, after them, their hair's not done and their husband or boyfriend's in the background watching football while she's making all this money for him. And she's supposed to be single. It's insane, the dating. I don't like Steve Jobs, the fact he made the iPhone, even though I'm using it to make a movie. Let's get back on track. 40 billion to the Ukraine. Whether you're for the, the, the Ukraine or not, okay, we're approaching a hundred billion dollars. That's a tenth of a trillion for the Ukraine. Uh, in my opinion, I'm not sure why this war wasn't over like a year ago or whatever, whatever it started. It just seems to, it seems like one big slush fund to me, right? The next thing is our leaders um, are not fiscally, fisc fiscally, fiscally responsible. Are you? Are you good with your money? I was. If I ran the government, no one would allow me to do this. Man, it would be so nice. Our streets would be nice. There'd be more programs for people. There'd be hardly anything leaving America. I wouldn't be paying for stuff in other countries like gender studies, 200 million in Pakistan. What is going on there? Crazy. Um, so you can be fiscally responsible. That's my point. The next thing is we spend more on military spending than the next six countries. You know, I don't know if you saw that movie. I forgot. Remember the, remember the movie Dumb and Dumber? Well, that guy went on to be a really good actor. And he, he uh, someone said, America's great. And now America's number one. And you remember that scene when he was like, no, we're not. We're 27th in education. We're 14th. <laughs> he brutally savaged the, the person's uh, opinion. And it was true. We are suffering in America. We have massive inflation. We have $5 gas. And we have just increased the national debt by 9% with a $1.7 trillion budget that's completely haywire. It's, it's insane. That's why I'm making this vlog and I hope you watch it. Uh, we have so much wasteful spending. How much, how much wasteful spending do we have, Jax? Ponder. Let's go with 50 billion. 50 billion in wasteful spending. It's really easy, like, Anybody watch me right now? Just send me your credit card and tell me to go crazy. I'll do it. Just say, go buy whatever, Jax. You know, and I'll do it because it's not my money. And you told me to. You didn't fight. So I'll do it. So send in your credit cards. I'll go shopping. I'll run your debt into the ground. And then I'll smile. I'll be like, well, it wasn't my money. Same attitude with Congress. Unbelievable. So let's go into a few things. A million dollars was spent to see <laughs> to see if you get happy after you take a selfie of yourself. A million dollars was spent. I'm pretty sure most people, like girls are really into selfies. And <laughs> they'll take 20 and then they'll have three to go, yeah, I actually look pretty cute there. <laughs> That's how it works. It, they're going to be happy, right? But they got to take 20. I know that <laughs> I have to take a few before I'm like, yeah, it's, pretty, it's okay. I'm okay looking. The next one is the National Science Foundation. This is unbelievable. They spend billions, not millions. They give billions of dollars. Here's an example. 
This is very important to you. You have to know this. There is so much money spent <laughs> on finding out whether a Panamanian frog has a different mating call in the city versus the country. So next time you're driving, like, yeah, I just spent $120 million to know that a Panamanian frog sounds a little bit more sexy in the city than in the country. So in the city, he's probably like, a baby, ribbit, ribbit. You know, they'd be like, ribbit, ribbit. But in the country, they're like, ribbit, you know, ribbit. Probably a different ribbit. <sighs> Can't make this stuff up. Anyway, <laughs> frog, frogs mating. <laughs> oh God, the sound of a frog mating. That's so important why you can't feed your family. Okay, here's another one. It's good. Two million NIA. Uh, that's the NIA division. And that is to study cafeterias. It's very important. Two million dollars. They need to know that if I'm sitting by you and I sneeze on my food, are you going to eat your food or not? <laughs> Two million dollars. If you don't eat your food... I'll eat it or I'll take it home to feed my family because groceries are so freaking expensive. The other one is uh, they needed to know really bad whether if you give Japanese quail cocaine, whether they are more sexually active. That's super important. I've always wondered that. Hey, what if I give these quail some of this stuff and watch it? Would it make, would it make a fun show? <sighs> Anyways, one more thing. The leadership was so kind to increase the federal tax rate when you withdraw money from your IRA, from your, IRA, your um, retirement account, individual retirement account. They raised it, in case you don't know, from 10% to 20. So let's say you're gonna take out 10 grand. Boom, two grand they take out right away. Used to be a thousand. I'm pretty sure you need that. So what did I do? Here's a tip for you. If you've waited to watch this whole thing, this is awesome. Move your money. So I had my money with uh, Thrift Savings Plan because, of course, I was an employee with the Bureau of Indian Affairs. That was so great with money. And uh, I can't believe that. So anyways, um, I moved my money to a pretty big account. Like, a, not, not money-wise, but, a, you know, a big company. Go right down the line. State and federal tax, zero. Oh, you're going to get in trouble, Jax. No, I'm not because I have tax write-offs. And um, the YouTube business is another thing is if you're going to start a YouTube business. Don't start a hobby. Start um, a business. That's what I did. And my, my YouTube is not um, is not a hobby. I, I probably spend, I don't know, 40 to 60 hours a week. I don't know. Maybe not that much. It's, it's constant. Being a YouTuber is not easy. But just my advice Focus on one thing. You'll see that my content's all over the place. But because there's issues I want to address. Now, the final thing is, um, after the final, final, here's my idea. And this is absolutely helping me with my money, with uh, savings and all this stuff. Move to somewhere like Cebu, Philippines. I now live there, okay? It is wonderful. Um, I'll give you an example. I, my place is less than 650 a month. Which to my fellow um, Filipinos, they're like, wow, that's expensive. Not to an American. I mean, but there's a difference. And I'll be sharing my place. I'll have my friends over and stuff. It's it's not about me and the, some tower. It's about me sharing my life experience. You know, there's a pool. There's a gym. I'll be having friends and stuff come over and sharing my life. I'm not going to be a jerk. But for $650, what do I get? I get a view of the ocean. I get a view of all three uh, bridges. I get 14 fireworks shows outside my window. They're really into fireworks. I get security down at the bottom. If I don't want anyone coming up, they're not coming up. And I like my private time, especially when I'm making vlogs. I don't need any interruptions. The other thing is um, I have a gym, all included. I have a laundry downstairs. Take it down, the lady does the laundry for me. It's cheap. I have an infinity pool. I have a kid's pool. I have um, a mall that's a spectacular mall, a first class mall. I have everything I need. I have banks by me. I have um, a driver. Um, I have taxis I can get. I can get on a motorcycle. Angus, the Angus app gets you right on a motorcycle. And you, you want to take a motorcycle after 5 p.m. because the traffic's terrible. You'll get somewhere 
in like 20 minutes instead of an hour and 10. So remember that tip. So I do have a solution for inflation for the terrible times that Americans are facing. That is enjoy the last third of your life. Leave, go somewhere like come see me in Cebu, C-E-B-U. Find my dating site. Um, it's for all genders. I'm super nice. Everything's confidential. I don't ask for any money. And unless we move forward, then I will. But I include three nights at a hotel. I include all of your, your van uh, shuttle. I, I take care of you. I protect you. Okay. And is it like Disneyland there? Is it like living like a king? Are the people amazing? Is there music everywhere? Are there no drugs? Are there? Are, do you ever get anything with guns? No. I mean, everyone is amazing. Everything's amazing. I don't miss the whole uh, danger that you see in America. It's a very, every few months we see stuff on the TV. I'm not going to repeat it. It's terrible. And we all go, oh, there's another school. So anyways, I'm not going to be exposing myself to that anymore. I'm glad you stayed. You may not know me. If you do, I love you. And if I don't know you, I love you. If I said that right. I wish the best for your family. You should seriously consider changing your life, especially if you're a single person. Come out, spend a week. The rates for the air, uh, the airport, you can go on to Google Air, what is it? Google Flights. Scan around, man. Look around. You can get over there. I just got a flight. I had to shop a lot. The average price was $1,600 from San Francisco to Cebu. It's a 16-hour flight. You land in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, if you come out of Seattle, you're landing in South Korea. I just learned that. Um, but anyways, the average price is like sixteen hundred to two grand. I just nailed it on uh, Crystal Travel for eleven fifty six. You know, and then, and then they add a little bit of fees, but don't worry about the fees. Um, but total price, I think I paid twelve fifty. Unbelievable. And how much is your life worth? You're like, well, I, you know, I don't want. I don't have the money. I know a guy that has so much money and he just wants to be depressed. He just wants to sit on his money and die and let people that don't even care about him get it. Not me. I'm living my life. I'm living my life. Any questions, definitely I answer every comment. Um, I'm encouraging everyone to really think about going to Cebu. It's a beautiful mid middle uh, class city. It's not like you think, oh, third, you know, whatever it is, third world uh, it's not. I mean, there's parts. Yeah. But I'll show you the light. I'm like that. And I'm a leader. Um, it's someone you can trust and I'll protect you. So uh, anyways, back to uh, the love part. Love. Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, shouldn't put that in because in a year or so, people be like, Thanksgiving was eight months ago. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I hope you listen to me. At least poke your head in and see what's going on. You can get around this inflation thing if you get out. If you get out. All right. Peace.